when you make your videos, don't they sound a bit like this? A bit noisy, a bit hissy, less than brilliant? And when you hear other people's videos, don't they sound like this? Nice and strong, clear and distinct? And do you ever wonder how they do that? Well, stay tuned, because in this episode, I'm going to show you how. Media. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. You know, good sound makes a huge contribution to any movie or video production. And nothing makes a movie look more amateur than hissy, difficult to hear sound. When newbie movie makers ask directors what is the most cost-effective way to improve their films, they are nearly always told, forget about posh lenses, forget about fancy equipment, just improve your sound. So good advice. But isn't that a difficult thing to do? Well, yes and no. There are certainly hundreds of little tweaks that can be made to fine-tune your sound. But surprisingly, the single most important thing that you can do that will massively improve your sound above everything else is pretty simple. Just get closer to the microphone. Your microphone is always going to pick up extraneous noise in addition to whatever it is you're trying to record. And when you're far away from the camera like I am, then the background noise is going to be almost as loud as your own voice. And if you try and raise the volume of your own voice in the edits, then you're also going to raise the level of the background noise, which is not what you want. When you're close to the camera like I am now, then the signal to noise ratio, as it's called, is much better. My voice no longer has to compete with extraneous noises. But the problem is, you don't want to be on top of the camera like this for the whole video, do you? So what can we do? The answer is to record your sound separately and add it in the edit. Recording the sound separately means that you can keep the mic close to you instead of close to the camera. If you are making movies, this will usually mean having a sound recordist who will place the mic where and when it's needed, whilst keeping it just out of shot. If you are a one-man band like me, however, then the best option is to use a lavalier clip-on mic, like this, which ensures that the microphone is never further away than a few inches. Separate recording will of course require some sort of recording device, and there are many on the market. Like most budget filmmakers, I use the Zoom H1 recorder. It's small and reasonably priced, but produces very high quality recordings. And comes with its own built-in stereo mics, as well as a mini jack input for external mics like my Lavalier. And if you want to get hold of one for yourself, then you can find a link in the write-up below. Separately recording with a device like this is simple. Just turn it on, plug in your mic, set the level, press record and slip it into your pocket. Now, wherever you go, your mic goes with you. If I was recording this with a microphone in the camera, you'd barely be able to hear me from over there. But because I'm recording it separately with a separate recorder, it's almost like I'm standing next to the camera. It's brilliant, isn't it? And the added production value from this one little trick can raise your video making to a whole new level. Why don't you try it yourself? You won't be disappointed. So there you go, an easy way to get good quality sound. And if you're not too sure how to go about combining your recording with the video in the edits, then you can find a handy instruction video here. Yes, and I'll also leave a link in the write-up below. Well, that's it. That's all for this time. So enjoy your video making, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you next time on the Media Channel. Media.